Hi, all of you awesome scuba divers out there. Welcome to Scuba Diving Magazine, your favorite place for the latest scuba diving news and gear reviews. Today, I'm taking a closer look at the SIAC Master Dry 7mm Semi Dry Wetsuit. Uh, so, the Master Dry is a cold water semi dry. Semi dry basically just means that it's a bit more effective. You've got more effective seals and a watertight zipper to slow water ingress into the suit as much as possible, similar to a dry suit, but not as effective. Uh, so eventually the water is going to find its way in and when it does it acts more like a wetsuit uh, to use that water as further insulation to keep you warm. For the first section of the dive you'll stay mostly dry but eventually you will get wet when you're wearing this submerged just nowhere near as quickly as a conventional wetsuit. The Master Dry is a thick 7mm suit but it's made from extra flex neoprene so it doesn't feel quite as bulky or restrictive as many other older thicker wetsuits and you get the added insulation of 7mm of neoprene uh, which is just that bonus for diving in colder waters. The internal plush lining is warm and it's flexible as well to augment or at least allow that neoprene to stretch. And it actually covers most of your body, not just your core like other suits. A lot of suits will boast about their thermal lining, but it only actually covers your, your front and your back, but it doesn't actually do your arms and your legs. But in this suit, it does. The only parts that aren't are where they'd like reinforce so your knees, your shoulders and your seat. Wrist, neck and ankle seals have a double layer design with a smooth skin lining on one section that helps you to layer up gloves, hoods and boots at your extremities and to slow water ingress with that smooth skin lining um, and you can line that up because it's usually outwards facing it lines up with the smooth skin lining on most cold water gloves and boot designs. Knees, seat and shoulders are protected by reinforced Supertrex material that protects those key areas from wear and tear of your BCD and just general life whilst wearing your wetsuit. Down your spine uh, and at the small of your back, just over your kidneys, you have a little extra padding for comfort where the BCD makes contact, so a bit more padding so it doesn't dig into your back. Single zippered thigh pocket on your right hand thigh is a nice place to store emergency essentials, somewhere safe and quite easy to reach. Right underneath that pocket is a little attachment point for the included hood so that when you're not using it you can attach it somewhere out of the way, it just frees up a hand and you always know that you have your hood close to hand. The hood itself, uh, it feels a lot like a 5mm and it has smooth skin lining around the neck and the face as well, again to help slow water ingress inside. For the rest of the head, it has the same thermal lining to keep your head warm as the rest of the suit, and it also has a venting system right at the top to allow any air inside of the hood to escape without letting water in. But let's take a look at how it arrives and what comes with it. This is how it arrives, uh, a big plastic bag with a uh, grab handle at the top. Uh, on the inside, you get your nice new suit. Uh, you get a book of words uh, on the inside, a bunch of different languages, uh, just the usual. It's got size charts as well, which are quite handy, uh, and just information on how to look after your suit. You also have some... Um, T-zip lubricant, that's quite nice and handy to uh, to have. Lubricant, one, it just helps the, the zipper move because it's a lubricant, but also it creates a little bit of a um, uh, an extra sealing surface to help slow the water from getting in. Um, and just a bit of information about the suit itself. It's a little QR barcode. I imagine it just takes you to cxsub.com, uh, but I'll scan that and I'll put the URL down uh, in the description so you can check it out. Uh, a bit of paper packaging to uh, to help the um, uh, some of the detailing. They, they don't want it uh, sort of pressed against the, um, uh, the neoprene. Uh, these foam sections just help to round any folded corners so it's less likely to crease. Uh, chances are there are going to be creases but it's not the end of the world. Uh, just by wearing it you're going to help to like loosen it up. Uh, so the best thing with, uh, with creases is just to use your suit. Um, otherwise very nicely folded. Um, more foam, you get the hood, 
as well. Um, that's got a little attachment point, so that can attach to the hip usually. I uh, imagine somewhere around that pocket. Uh, a lot of the zippers will also have little sections of neoprene. Uh, again, when they're folded, if there's that um, like YKK pull zipper, if it's pressed into a, another section of neoprene, it can like embed itself. So they try and add these extra tags. You obviously can just remove them. Um, and a section on the inside to help keep the neck seal as like rounded as possible. Uh, otherwise, that's about it. Let's take a closer look at the suit itself. So let's have a quick look over the master dry. Uh, starting up around the neck, you have this double layer neoprene design. Uh, this section isn't seven mil. Uh, that would be a bit much to uh, kind of squeeze your neck. So they've made it out of thinner. This is like three mil uh, and then three mil over the top of it. And this has smooth skin on the outer layer so that if you're diving it with a hood, you put the hood on over the top of this inner section and then the smooth skin seals against that, against your, uh, your hood. And then you have this second like outer, much like a dry suit, this outer layer of neoprene that you tuck your hood into, keeps it nice and neat and tidy, slows that water ingress. Um, if you're not diving it with a hood, then you can just roll this in on itself, then it seals against your neck, um, best, best of both worlds. Moving down from that, you've got this super tex material. So this is a bit more um, just abrasion resistant for your BCD shoulder straps so that they don't wear your suit out and, uh, and it just stays newer for longer. Big open panel on the chest. Uh, it's nice to see big sections of neoprene because that's where the stretch comes in. You've got this kind of shiny material, um, which it kind of comes from bodyboarding and it helps give a little bit of grip just on your chest so that uh, so that your body grips onto the bodyboard. For scuba diving, you can kind of argue it's for your, uh, your BCD to hold that in place. Uh, otherwise, it's just kind of a style detail, really. Moving down the arms, uh, we get similar cuff seal to, uh, to what's going on around your neck. You have this internal seal and then an external seal, so, but you still have that smooth skin lining to line up with the ones on your gloves. And, uh, and this external, so you put your, your suit on, gloves over the top, and then this external sleeve to put your gloves inside. And it just keeps it just neat and tidy, and it really does slow that, uh, that water ingress. Moving down from that, uh, down to your thigh pocket. So, uh, so neoprene thigh pocket, you've got a zipper uh, from the front, so open that. And it's just, it's, it's still that stretchy neoprene. Uh, this again is only like three mil neoprene, so it's much thinner. And you do get a fair amount of space. You can fit your whole hand inside of that. You wouldn't have any trouble fitting a uh, backup mask inside of that. Little grommets at the bottom, just to allow for some, uh, some drainage and, um, and that's it. There's there's nothing on the inside. No no attachment points or anything. Um, zip that back up, and directly underneath that, you have this attachment point for your hood, um, which is just a, a simple like pinch clip, and um, and that's just so that you can attach your hood when you're not wearing it. Hood itself, pretty simple. Um, nothing uh, overly fancy. Feels like a five mil hood, but you still um, and it's bibless because there's nowhere to tuck the, uh, the bib um, inside. On the inside, we get our first look at this thermal lining um, that's throughout the rest of the suit. So it's a nice plush lining, um, so it's nice and like fluffy, uh, and that helps to, uh, to trap water, but it also allows that neoprene to stretch as well. If it's too tightly woven, the, uh, the internal lining, it can like restrict how much the neoprene can actually stretch. Uh, you also have this section here, you might be able to see a couple of little holes punctured into the, uh, or three holes punctured into the hood. That's because there's two layers of neoprene over this section. And then on the outside, you have separate holes that obviously don't line up, otherwise the water would get straight into your hood, but it allows, when you've got your mask underneath it, if you're just equalizing your mask every now and then, any excess gas that goes inside of the hood as you ascend is going to expand and you don't want your hoods to just expand um, like, uh, like you've got the huge head. Uh, so any expanding gas just vents out of there during the dive uh, and yeah, your hood doesn't just inflate whilst you're diving. 
moving down the suit, um, down to the knees, more of this super treks, but we've got uh, extra padding over these key sections around your knee and your shins, just to protect those high, weight, um, high wear areas. And yeah, the super treks material is just a bit more abrasion resistant compared to the rest of the suit. And the ankles, same as the uh, the cuffs and the neck, uh, you just have that extra layer to, uh, to layer up your boots. Flipping the suit around, we have a plastic T-zip across the back, straight across your shoulders, a lot like a back entry dry suit, and that's effective at uh, really slowing down water ingress. There is a flush guard underneath it, but that's more so that the zipper doesn't actually touch your skin. And um, But yeah, if any water does find its way through, then it is going to um, just get trapped by a bit of, uh, a bit of neoprene to, uh, to slow it down. On the inside, Again, you can see this uh, this thermal lining. So this is helping to uh, to keep you warm, but also allowing that suit to stretch. And also down the back, more padded areas, just to uh, give you a bit of extra padding, just where your BCD is pushing into your back. And down at the seat, covering your bum, uh, you've got more of that Super Trex material. Um, again, just abrasion resistance and, uh, and gives you a little bit of extra grip if you're seated. So who is the Master Drive for? Uh, so it's for cold water diving, where you don't want to deal with a dry suit. It will act much like a wetsuit, only you stay dry for most of the dive, or at least the beginning section of the dive. That and the thicker 7mm neoprene will make it more buoyant. This is a buoyant suit, so you're going to need more lead. But if you need no-nonsense exposure protection, uh, this is a great exposure suit for you. I, I, I say no nonsense, it's still a 7mm, so donning and doffing does take some effort and it's rear entry as well, so you're going to need a buddy to zip you up and release you after the dive. This really is the next generation of thicker wetsuits though. If you mention 7mm suits to more experienced divers, oh, they'll just groan and just think that they won't be able to cross their arms uh, to reach their feet to um, to just kind of bend and flex in such a restrictive suit but modern neoprene is so flexible that you'll be surprised at just how much you can actually move around inside of it it is tough to get into though it's it's thicker neoprene it's stretchy as well you don't have ankle zips um so you have to kind of pull your feet in and because it is that stretchy neoprene it has the unfortunate side effect that you can't pull on it easily because it just stretches and gives so it does take a bit more effort to get into it but once it is on it is a comfortable suit uh, if you look at the label it has a thermal class rating of a b uh, which is okay for a 7mm suit. Uh, I have seen some A's in my career, but A's are pretty rare. B is a perfectly reputable rating for a suit of this caliber. Uh, the next best thing to make an A would be a dry suit. Uh, the Master Dry has been out for a fair amount of time now, so the online price is quite fluid. Uh, most other semi-dries tend to go for around four to 500 new. Uh, most places that I can find it were less than that, uh, so it is a very affordable suit. From what I can tell, it doesn't seem to have changed that much compared to when I first saw it a few years back, and it still feels like a great suit to wear. The back zipper, is kind of annoying. Uh, it does mean that you need your buddy to suit you up and the zipper doesn't stretch. So you will notice that when you first put it on. Um, all of your joints bend and flex, but forward shoulder movement uh, is a bit restricted. That's about the only place that I did feel restricted in the suit. The thigh pocket is a little simple. Uh, it has a zipper, which is nice and secure uh, to make sure things stay inside, but otherwise, it's just a neoprene pocket. Um, no anchor points to clip things to inside. Uh, that will be my first change uh, that I make to fit a bungee loop inside there, just so there's some added security. It is a decent size. Uh, you'll definitely fit a, a backup mask or even a DSMB in a spool. You'll struggle with a bigger reel though. Uh, it's not that large and there's only one. Uh, two thigh pockets are always better than one, uh, but I suppose one is better than none whatsoever. I suppose there is an argument that you could just, if you didn't have anything, uh, then you can just pull up some tech shorts, but with a single pocket, it can get a bit crowded trying to pull tech shorts over the existing pocket. Um, so, hey, 
you've got some storage there. Overall, I do still like the Master Dry. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's still a great suit that I'd be happy to wear on a dive. Uh, for more information, you can head over to their website, cxsub.com, and you can use their dealer located to find your local SEAC dealer wherever you are, and head over to our website, scubadivermag.com, and maybe consider a magazine subscription whilst you're there. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel here. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. And of course, safe diving.